Hi, this is Alex from the Vision Maker Studio. Today we'll be showing you how to use the fifth generation MakerBot 3D printer. In order to use this 3D printer in the studio, you'll first have to watch this tutorial and complete a test. Afterwards, you will be able to access the printers using your student ID card, which you will swipe along the card reader attached to the computer. If you're printing one of your own files, plug in your external storage device into one of the USB ports of the computer. The computer will automatically open a MakerBot program. The program accepts files that are either in STL or OBJ format. In order to get the file on the program, drag it from your external storage folder into the MakerBot window. The contents of your file should appear on the display. If you would like to adjust print quality and supports, click on the Settings tab. When you're satisfied, click Preview to check the estimated print time, and click Print to get it started. The MakerBot uses PLA, which has a high heat tolerance, and is able to withstand a lot of pressure. This material is not very malleable, and contouring the material causes it to break. At the start of a print, the MakerBot will create a surface made out of PLA, known as a raft, for the piece to rest on. Today, we decided to print this overhang test. Overhangs are instances in a 3D print where a part of the piece extrudes horizontally without any support beneath it. This piece shows how the quality of the print degrades as it approaches 70 degrees. Overhangs past 68 degrees cause roughness. Bridges are horizontal parts of the piece. When supports are not used, the bottom layers tend to be a bit imperfect. The longer the bridge, the more stringy the underside of the bridge. If the print quality of the 3D printer has degraded, you should level the build plate. Follow the instructions on the screen to level the build plate. Often, prints will require the removal of support material, which is printed when the piece is unable to support the printing of all of its parts. You can remove this material by carefully twisting it off with pliers. For additional details and information including how to remove and load filament, how to print preset examples, and how to find 3D printer blueprints online, check out the documentation below. And there you have it. Now you're ready to get printing. Thanks for watching this tutorial and we'll see you next time.